What's up carnivores? Zach here with American Smoke. And today we're gonna make some delicious slow smoked chicken breast on the Pit Boss pellet smoker. We've brined these chicken breasts and they've been air drying now for about 10 or 15 minutes. We're gonna go ahead, get them patted dry, season them up and get them into the smoker. Today, we brine these chicken breasts for two hours with the leftover Lane's brine seasoning that they sent us for our turkey. I did two turkeys with it. Both of them were about 10 pounds a piece and I had a little bit left. So I thought, why not brine some chicken breasts? So here we are today. Let's go ahead and get these things patted dry, seasoned up and into the smoke. They've been sitting out for about 10 or 15 minutes. So they're pretty dry. We just wanna make sure that we don't steam our chicken. So we wanna get it good and dry. As far as this tenderloin right here is concerned, if you wanna remove that, that might overcook a little bit. It's not gonna be that overcooked because one, I brined this meat for two hours, which imparted a whole lot more moisture in it, which is gonna reduce our chances of over smoking. And two, I'm just not that picky. So I like to leave my tenderloins on there. You can see a lot of that seasoning got left over onto these chicken breasts, even though we did rinse it off. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be hitting this up with a little bit of spray olive oil. I'm doing the bottom side of these first. That way they're pretty. Just a quick little spray down. Then we're gonna be hitting it up with a little light dusting of salt. And then we're gonna be using something new today. We got some grill glitter. It's called the pork seasoning, but the guy that made the seasoning sent me a message the other day and was telling me that he tried it on some chicken breasts and it was phenomenal. So I had some chicken breasts and I like, I like phenomenal. So we're gonna go ahead and pop that on there. This is very herby. It almost has kind of a Mediterranean taste or Mediterranean smell, which goes along with that Lane's barbecue brine. It had a Mediterranean type of a smell. So lots of herbs, spices, no sugars. So you don't have to worry about it burning in the pit. And then because I like a little kick of spice, we're gonna be using a little bit of the original grill, grill glitter as well. And this is gonna give us a little more color onto our chicken breast. Grill glitter, hard to say 10 times fast. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And those are ready for the smoke. We got our smoker running today at 250 degrees, which if you've seen my channel, you know is what I consider to be 225 in my pit. I wanted to say, if you don't have a brine, all you really need to do is just add some salt into some water and let it soak. And that's just gonna pull moisture into there. You can make a brine as complex as you want, or you can make it just salt and water, and that'll be fine. Um, and you don't even have to brine, you're just gonna have a little bit more risk of running dry on a slow smoked breast. Brine, season, get into the smoke. We'll see y'all at the smoker. Okay, so we're gonna get these into the pit. I've got my pellet tube in here today, burning some apple wood and some apple pellet mix. All right, so my thickest breast is right back here and I've got it towards the back of the chamber. We're just gonna get a meter into the thickest portion of that breast, try to get it right in the center. And that's all there is to it. We're gonna be back to these, probably taking them out in about an hour. We'll see y'all then. All right, carnivores, so our chicken breasts are done. The meter said that we were at 106 degrees in the thickest point of the thickest breast that was at the back of the chamber. I did double check them with my Thermopin one and they're all reading right there at that 160, 162-ish degree mark. They're probably gonna come up just a little bit, but we're gonna go ahead and cut into one, see what's up, see did the brine and the slow smoke give us the result that we wanted. Today, I'm gonna be sort of uh, giving a first exposure to my viewers to my new knives uh, this is the poly collection cutlery now this came from the exact same person who produces the grill glitter pork seasoning and the grill glitter universal seasoning that you've seen me use on my channel is the seasoning that we use to season these very breasts and now they will be cut with the knife that is produced by the same person which i think is cool great american entrepreneur gotta love that i've got the smaller knife and the large chef's knife. And I wanna use this large chef's knife, I'm gonna be honest with you. These things are beautifully crafted. I'm gonna do a video just on these knives so y'all can have a better look at them. If you're curious about them, you wanna talk about pretty, perfectly balanced in the hand, just right there where you hold it. You know, no adjustments needed, just beautifully balanced. 
I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut into this chicken breast, see how the knife handles the breast and see what kind of result we ended up getting on our cook. What am I gonna get to eat for dinner? I mean, like a razor's edge. These things are crazy sharp. And y'all, we did good on our breast. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that right now. <laughs> Look at that. Nothing dry about that, perfectly done. Let's see if we can get a nice little thin slice here for our taste to see what's up with that grill glitter seasoning, cutting it with the grill glitter knife. I know Keith, I know you appreciate this. Y'all show some love to Keith. Go follow the links below. Great company, all American. Pursuing that American dream, producing great products. Wow, let's give it a bite, see what's up. Wow. Tender, super juicy, great flavor from the grill glitter seasoning combo. Just the right amount of heat. Got that real herby flavor from our brine and from the pork seasoning. Dear Lord, that's good. Great knife, great seasoning, great chicken. Great to have y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video.